Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blackburn Solutions. So in today's video tutorial, we will be looking at how to create a perspective test effect using the vanishing point filter effect in Photoshop. And this video is coming up shortly. If you're new to the channel, Thank you so much for clicking this video please consider becoming a member by subscribing to the channel and also making sure to check the bell icon so as to be notified whenever we release new videos if you're already a part of this lovely team thank you so much for showing up once again without any further ado let's quickly begin so in here is my photoshop application and this is the image that i will be placing the perspective test on so in here i'm going to be typing so the first thing we will be doing is hold your control t your sorry your control key and click on the t box in here right now press copy or we can better so let's come to edit and let's copy then let's go back to select and let's deselect and let's turn this layer off right so let's create a new layer on top of the text layer and in here come to filter go to vanishing point all right so you can see we have a bunch of tools in here so the tools that we will be using is the edit and the create plane too so you can just point 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 and you get something like this so just make sure you draw something cool so with your point we can click in here click in here and we drag this text In here and we have something there now if you see a red color it means Photoshop does not accept that perspective okay so we can use the edit plane to adjust the edges so we get a blue we need a blue all right so there you have it we need a blue So the colors are actually three, blue, yellow, and red. So red, not good, very bad. Yellow, moderate, we'll take it. But blue is the perfect thing, okay? So make sure to adjust the edges till you get a blue color. Then we can easily fix our All right, so when we are done, make sure to click anywhere and now let's paste the layer that we copied by pressing ctrl v so ctrl v to paste this so we can use the transform to ctrl t that is a shortcut to either scale this big or small depending on how it fits the plane here so after we are done scaling we can easily move the text and place it in here okay but in here you can see that it is very big it's too big so I'm just going to undo this and I'm going to hold my shift key and scale this to the smallest it's still big so actually I don't know what happened but there you have it so okay so it seems what what uh, the text is too huge so i'm going to undo this and let's click ok in here so i'm going to be deleting this text right and then i'm going to create a new so we after placing this text here what we'll be doing is uh, creating a new layer on top of this 
text but before we begin or before we create the layer on top of this text let me quickly adjust uh, a little bit portion here all right so till we meet again i like this then hold your control key and press the t icon in here and we have this so let's go back to edit and let's copy go to select and let's deselect this and let's turn this layer off okay so now we can create a new layer on top of the type 2 the type layer sorry then in here we 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 would continue with our vanishing point all right so we still have this in here so we are going to paste this this way and i'm just going to drag this and place this inside the but it's still big control z on z to undo so let's use a transform tool to scale this to the smallest possible size and let's drag this back in and see all right so scaling this this way is okay and basically this is this is what we have so we have till we meet again okay then if we are done just hit on okay and we have this perfectly looking but one thing that we can do to make it real is well you can have a view that this is like a text placed on the road so let's make the texture appear a bit so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be i'm going to my blending option by clicking on the add layer style then blending option okay so i'm going to be blending using the underlined layer hold your alt key click on this radial to break it into two or to separate them then now we can drag this out a bit so let's see what happens and you can see it's like we have the root or the text of the road appearing on the text okay so this is how we want it to be so let's shift this a bit and okay so something like this is okay and perfectly we are done with it so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you learned something in here if you did please do well to give this video a thumbs up by liking it and also making sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so so let me know what you think of this video in the comment box below until i come your way next time there is still blabbing solutions and see you in the next video